In this TRX 4M Bronco with a chassis by DSM Off-Road, there is a FuryTech Python ESC and a Cedar motor. I'm going to show all this to you on the table. We're going to take it for a drive. All in this video right now. Let's go. This is the little Python Pro right here. Little bitty nice unit. And the Python ESCs are a huge step up for FuryTech. And the motor is the new Cedar motor and it's an in-runner. It is not an outrunner, so that's a little bit different for me right here from Furitech, but these two right here should run pretty darn good. Let's get a good look at this before I tear it apart. Look at all the CCXRC brass links, diff covers, the brass knuckles, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, very nice setup. Got a great center of gravity to it, but we're going to go ahead and take this off right here and get to the transmission. With just a few bolts out, there we go. We're going to pop the transmission off and dig into this thing. Other than the chassis difference, it's all the exact same procedure in dealing with the TRX 4M. Along with the Python Pro and Cedar motor, I'm also putting in the center training gear set by Vitavon. This is steel and this should hold up everything great. At this point, the motor is mounted up. The Vitavon gears are in. So I'm going to add a little bit of grease to this, and we should be ready to go. I mean, um, heck, this is bolt for bolt, super easy install, <laughs> really. There it is. At this point, I'm just simply going to bolt it back into the chassis and see what it's got. Okay, let's get this started with a little bit of a speed run. The thing moves, even picks up sticks. Thing moves on out pretty good there. Nice. Now let's go crawling. Get this going here. The FOC. It's gonna work out beautifully right here. I went to the RC8X radio with a little micro receiver, and I think I've got tighter turning now. Let's just see here, get this thing in position. The control is nice. F O C. Nice, nice, nice. I like the F O C myself. I know when it first came out, people were like, oh no, you can't feel anything. You can't feel it. And I'm like, I'm done feeling it. I just want to get some of it. Wait, that didn't sound right. But regardless, um, we got some FOC along with a gigantic piece of pine straw. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. I should probably set up some uh, expo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it hopped it. Nice. Drag brake is holding great. Make it where it's at its hardest. Right there. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to set a little bit of expo up with the transmitter. But you can also do it in the app. It's got the Bluetooth in there and everything. And this right here got really dirty from the storm, but didn't it? This is after the hurricane came by us I, I don't want to say we got hit by it because we didn't but it came by us and dropped limbs everywhere and apparently i have not man this thing is nice stock gears too the foc is working like a charm oh man and this is with the stock bronco tires too I'm gonna put some better tires on it. Not saying these are bad, but. Adjust your jaw nice and slow. Oh yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, thought I was gonna be able to make the pull. Man, come on baby, make the pull. There we go. That was nice right there. Oh, I got stuck. 
Let's see if we can get it in this way gigantic out of scale boulder field for this thing. Yes. Making the pull, making the pull, rolling the rock with it. Not sure what I can do here. Oh, wow. There's no way I'm going to be able to get that, though. Look at that! Woo! Wheel speed. Got the job done. Bring it up here. We're going to get a little bit of a hold. Look at that. Bring it down. Nice. And for this, we're going to drop in right here. Easy. The brass CCXRC works out great. Oh, we stopped. You know what? Bet you were getting low on battery. I did turn my uh, throttle, my uh, LVC up, so I bet you that's what it was. Woohoo! No! And we might as well go across this. The FOC, the crawler, this thing is amazing. Now this right here is where you get caught up in the skid and all that. Just like that. I like the punch of this thing. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. A nice little deal. I think Tom built this. Nice. So there you have it. Now, this system ran beautifully in here. However, I found out after the fact that this system is designed to go in with the 40 to 1 gears, the lower gears. Now, I've got the Vitavon gears in here, and they're beautiful gears, okay? Uh, they work beautiful. They went, they, went, they went in just like they were supposed to with the pinion gear that came on the motor. But I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the low gears, the 40 to one gears, because supposedly this is designed to work with those gears. I was a bit unaware of that. But now that I know it, now I know what I gotta do. I gotta tear it back apart and put the 40 to one gears in it. So uh, yeah, it's gonna crawl. But I gotta tell you, I like the speed it had. If I ever build another like 124 bouncer, you're going to be on a set of these axles right here. They're wide, they're strong, and I'm going to shut up now because this video has gone way too long. Guys, uh, the system, I'll link it up down below. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and I want you guys to have a great day. For real. Go out and do something you've never done before. Even if it's get a different flavor coffee. Have a great one, guys. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A main, eBay, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.